What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. A man steals a $100 bill from a store. He then buys $70 worth of items, receiving $30 in change. How much money did the store lose in total? By the way, a quick shout out to Mind Your Decisions. That's where I first saw this puzzle, so super cool. I wanted to also share, share it with you guys, with my audience, and give you guys my explanation. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play, and I'll give you the explanation. So to illustrate what exactly is going on here, let's kind of write this out. We've got the man and we've got the store, right? So a lot of times people are thinking, well, all right, he's stealing a hundred bucks, right? So let's look at that first. So he's stealing a hundred bucks. That means at this point, the store has lost a hundred dollars. And then he's getting $70 worth of goods from the store and then also getting another $30. So I think the initial thought is like, all right, he's getting a hundred dollars plus $70 worth of goods and then also $30 change so you add that all up and the man's getting two hundred dollars from the store the store is losing two hundred dollars we need to think about this a little bit more carefully so right now the store has lost a hundred and the man's got a hundred but to get the seventy dollars worth of items right he's getting seventy dollars worth of items but he's also giving the store seventy dollars right he's giving them that seventy dollars in cash and then when he gets the thirty dollars back again that store is not losing thirty dollars because that thirty dollars is part of that hundred dollar bill that was given so now the man has lost the hundred dollars because it's been given back to the store and so that loss is out but the store has now given seventy dollars worth of goods and that thirty dollars worth of change so that means the store has lost a total of a hundred dollars the other way to think about it is essentially once the man takes the hundred dollars once the man steals the hundred dollars every transaction thereafter is just an exchange it's not a stealing or a taking and it's an exchange so for example he's giving seventy dollars to get seventy dollars worth of goods so it's it's net even and again that change is really thirty dollars for thirty dollars right it's an excess of thirty that he's paying through the hundred dollar bill so he's just getting thirty dollars back once again it's a, it's an exchange which is a net change of zero so just to sum up one more time the final answer is that the store loses a hundred dollars boom done I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. If you want to see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.